This is the Daily Pulse from Travis Zimmerman. I'm from Speak My Word Ministries and love speaking the words of the Lord here. And we've got a great one. You know, a lot of times, you know, you know, my number one favorite subject of all subjects is talking about Jesus Christ. Talking about Him, reading about Him, loving on Him, learning His Word, and just and just understanding how He can change people's lives. He's, he's the most powerful Savior ever. The only Savior, the one and only Jesus. You know, when we're reading the New Testament, there's plenty of accounts here. You know, the Gospel Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then, of course, we read about Him in Acts. And also all through and then directly in the Revelation when, when Jesus will be coming back. And man, I can't wait to that day. But in the Old Testament, you know, a lot of times you hear that in the Old Testament, Jesus is concealed. In the New Testament, Jesus is revealed. And again, that's a paraphrase from St. Francis of Assisi. Here is a tremendous one. I mean, this is one that most everybody would recognize you know, from the crucifixion, you know, Jesus' last week on earth. And the context is that the book of Zechariah, the second to last book, of the Old Testament in canonical order, and Zechariah at this point it's the post-exilic period. You know the, the Jews have been have been exiled out to Babylon and are starting to come back after 70 years. And Zechariah, one of the prophets, is trying to encourage them to build the temple and, and, and in essence have spiritual renewal. So that's that's what's happening right now. And here's the scripture. And again, you will recognize this right away. This is Zechariah chapter 11, verses 12 to 13. This is God talking. I told them, if you think it best, give me my pay, but if not, keep it. So they paid me 30 pieces of silver. And the Lord said to me, and that's Zechariah, throw it to the potter, the handsome price at which they priced me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord, the potter. Again, Zechariah chapter 12, 11, verses, 11, verses 12 to 13. Wow, that is just crystal clear. You know, those prophecies are... Being told this is just you know this is about 400 years before Jesus is actually walked the earth and before his crucifixion and here it's but here it's you know looking forward to when Judas himself would accept 30 pieces of silver from the Pharisees to betray Jesus and then after Judas got his conscience and, and felt convicted finally he said, he went back to them and said I betrayed innocent blood and he, and he gave it back to me if you seen the passion of the Christ they you know it, it, it spills and now he throws it back in. And the Pharisees say, what is that to us? You know, it's blood money. So they took it and they bought a potter's field. That's where they buried foreigners. But my goodness, I mean, that's one of the joys of reading the Old Testament because Jesus is just all over it. I mean, that particular, two particular examples there, you know, between the, the 30 pieces and buying a potter's field, that is obviously one of the more clear examples, you know, direct examples in, into the New Testament. There are so many allusions that God has in there. And we can only see with our eyes, and that's why when we read Scripture, we pray to the Holy Spirit, Lord, just open my eyes that I might see what you have me to see, and that you would reveal wisdom to me through your Holy Spirit, that, that it's not my eyes and my heart and reading with it, it's yours, Father, and you would just focus me, focus me on that. That's one of the joys and the blessings and encouragements of reading God's Word, because He will open His Word to you and reveal strip, Scripture of truth in Jesus' name. Amen.